What up, what up, what up? Y'all know where I'm at. I'm in a... <laughs> in a motherfucking... Oh, I ain't gonna say motherfucking. In the exotic spot, LA Mobile. That's what we call it. The exotic spot, LA Mobile. So, as y'all see, today is January 6th, right? 2021. So, I've been going on a rage on this YouTube channel and on my Instagram going up, giving a lot of free game because I want everybody, especially like 2021, I want everybody to know like, man, we can build our own market, especially like black people like we could we don't gotta always be the consumer you feel what i'm saying so with that being said today is a big day for me today because i'm opening up another shop yeah and like dj kelly in another one um in la this gonna be on the west side as y'all know like i'm really from the east side of la so they be saying like east side dudes you know we kind of like you know grimy thirsty bummy and you know so i'm moving to the i'm moving i'm opening up a shop on the west side this is not my first shop that I opened on the west side. Like, my first shop was in the Lamert Park area when I first came home from prison, right? It was in the Lamert Park area on, like, Crenshaw and, like, Vernon between 48. The address was um, 4609 Crenshaw Boulevard, right? To be exact, to let everybody know I ain't lying. So, I'm back happy because I moved. Uh, I'm opening up another shop. Today is the grand opening. That's what I forgot to say. Today is the grand opening of my new shop, Exotic Spot Number 2 in LA on the west side. So you're going to have Exotic Spot 1. That's in LA on Broadway in Manchester. The ad off Broadway in Manchester. The address is 8760 South Broadway, Los Angeles, California, 9003, right? That's considered like the west side. Still, Broadway is considered west side, but in LA we consider that the east side. Anything east of the 110 freeway is the east side. That's what we. That's what a lot of people consider. That's like address wise, that's not true. But you know, dudes that's out here like LA, LA, LAs, or Los Angeles, Linos, whatever y'all call us, um, we consider that the east of the 110 is the east side. West of the 110 is the west side. That's how we do it. So like. With that being on the set, I'm getting on the 10 freeway right here from downtown. About to get on the 10 freeway. I'm about to go to the 110 freeway, right? I'm about to go to the 110 freeway. So if I was east of the 110 freeway on the freeway I'm about to get on, that would be considered the east side. If I'm west of the 110 freeway and the freeway I'm about to get on, that would consider the west side. So I think I mixed it up. If you east, that's the east. If you west of the 110, that's the west. So with that being said, I'm grand opening the day. I already went up to the shop. I had to come downtown because the shop that's on Broadway, you know, that shop do a lot of, that shop, that's the number one shop, that's headquarters. I had to drop off merchandise, so I'm ripping and running. This is really like the day in life of me. Let me take my time too, cause I'm driving, I'm rumbling, I'm rushing. I want y'all really understand. This is really like the day in life. I try to get y'all like of an entre uh, entrepreneur, like from LA and try to inspire people. Like y'all can get up and do the same thing I did. Y'all know I did a lot of time in prison, so I had a lot of time to think and understand, like, like I don't want to go back to jail. I don't want to go back to jail. This little female didn't want to let me over. So my whole thing is I had to think and create a way, even if I couldn't get a job, to create a way for myself. So all you guys that's out there, you feel me, about to come out from prison, y'all know I'm an advocate of that, like, from prison to, from, from, from prison inmate to CEO from incarceration to incorporation. I believe in that. And I understand that no matter what, if you didn't been in prison and been through it, you could get through anything in life. And if you really want to do something like this, you really could do it. Like, look, bro, this my whole truck. I stack my trucks up. I load my trucks up. I go drop stuff off. You feel me? I don't really like working too. Don't get me wrong. So this is really considered like I was telling y'all the difference between earned income and passive income. It's passive because it's days that I don't work, but sometimes you got to work as the boss. Like, there's no way around that. See, real CEOs have to go to the boardrooms and work and come together and stuff like that. So don't think, oh, all, when they say bosses don't work, boss got to work their ass off. Let's be completely honest about that. So now, as y'all see, I'm getting on a wrap from the 10 freeway to the 110. These windows kind of dirty. So, you know, like I said, it's the work van. So I'm showing y'all the, the 110 freeway. Some of y'all ain't never been to LA. This is considered the 110 freeway. That's downtown in my background. Downtown back, um, downtown LA, that was in my background that y'all just seen. Um, like I said, so now I'm on the 110. So if I was east of that, which I, when I get off the freeway, you're gonna see me turn left, which is east, to go to the store on Broadway. So I'm gonna get off on Manchester, and then I'm gonna go east, which is 
to the next street, which Main Street, which is Broadway. And um, that's where Exotic Spot number one, my first store at with the lingerie, the sex store and stuff like that. I made that store like a, a year and a half ago and that store been very successful where we opened up, we had almost got to open up five and like in probably 18 months, <laughs> that's real good. So now today we opening up the one, like I say, it's 4901 Southwestern. If you ever in LA, 4901 Southwestern uh, Los Angeles, shameless plug, but I had to plug that too. So it's the grand opening day, so I'm ripping and running. And I want to show y'all like that at the end of the day, you still have to get up and work no matter what you do. Either you work for yourself or you work for somebody. It's I had to put my phone back down, so sorry about the break. But like I was saying, so if you um got it in your head and you know for a fact that you could do it, you could do it. But no matter what, you still got to get up every day. Every day you got to get up and and accept the adult responsibility straight out i mean responsibility could be either your kids responsibility trying to put a roof over your head responsibility some people don't got no kids so and i ain't gonna say kid be your kids if you have kids your responsibility is your kid i really believe that but some people don't have kids and they're adults but their responsibility is try to find a roof get a roof over their head their responsibility probably be clothing whatever it is as an adult you're supposed to provide for yourself so in the form of you providing for yourself no matter what, you have to get up and figure out how to make the money come in and how you're going to get it. Are you going to work for somebody or are you going to work for yourself or are you going to work for somebody else? Two things. Work for somebody else or work for yourself or are you going to be working what they call a system, the county and everything else? It's, I mean, it's really three things, but work is work you gotta do it you kind of get what i'm saying you gotta be able to to, to make a move to provide you know, or some kind of income because people are not unless like it's your parents is rich and you come from a silver spoon and they still want to keep you know providing for you okay i understand but what happened when your parent die and and you feel me and and things happen and they can't provide and a great tornado come can you can you fend for yourself it's the real question. You kind of get what I'm saying? So with that being said, I like showing y'all like, look, man, this is what I'm doing. Like, this is this is me. You feel me? Like, you, if I can do it, you can do it. We all can do it together. So with that being said, I'm on my way to my store with all these boxes. All of them is slides, like slides, like heels and stuff like that. Well, not heels, but slides. You know, the females, they slide them in their little feet and stuff and wear them. So I'm about to take them to the store on Broadway. And then I'm gonna rush to the store on, on on Western because it's the grand opening. People over there waiting on me and stuff like that. I got the balloons coming and stuff like that. So, like I said, we at it. I'm gonna see y'all in a minute when I get to the store. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all see, I'm back at it again. So, would y'all see the boxes? Like I say, I went to the exotic spot in LA. I forgot to record really until I got back in the truck. But y'all see them boxes right there? Remember, we, it was regular boxes, like all the boxes was filled with shoes and stuff. So here go the boxes now. So these the boxes, so these the boxes now um, that we take into an exotic spot um, number two for the grand opening. So we still getting there. So I need to go, I had to buy, like you see that little light, the light fixture, I had to buy that brown box, them bags, you know, like when people come, you had the bags, um, I bought some extension cords and some extra stuff like that. Like, so, um, little stuff that you're going to need, that you're going to need when you open up a store, you still got to wear about all that stuff, right? So like I'll tell you, this just the damn life, what I'll be having going and what I'll be doing and like my operations. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take y'all, I'm going to, since I'm this way, I'm right here on Florence and Normandy. Who remembers Florence and Normandy? Y'all remember, uh, Reginald Denny, um, what's they call? Yeah, Reginald Denny, the 92 riots. This was all right here, remember? The truck and all that stuff, all right there, that area. But yeah, with that being said, the 92 rides, y'all remember that? Reginald Denny, the truck driver, and um, you know, LA life, I guess. I was still a kid when that shit happened. But now, I'm just trying to get to it, trying to stay at it. Give y'all some view of LA right quick. A little view of LA, so. My daughter, mom, right here, I'm on Florence, right? I'm gonna do another shameless plug. You know, like I said, we trying to open up shops and business everywhere, expand this black. 
this black dollar in the black community. Look, y'all see them? They building new, new buildings right here. So my daughter, mom, her store, let me scoop this over. Her store is right. All right, so let me show y'all. Right now I'm on Florence and Western. Look, let me promote a black business. Y'all probably can't see it. Over there, I move my hand right there. Behind that tree right there, straight ahead across the street, it's my boy Barry. He got a store called, a man's clothing line called Grind Till You Rich. So if you're on Florence and Western, stop at Barry Grind Till You Rich um, store. Like I say, this this damn lock. This is what I do, man. I, you gotta know who doing what, especially like in your city. Know who doing what, cause y'all all can network together. So right there where it say Grind T Rich, I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm trying to drive in so y'all, but Grind T Rich is right there. That's my boy Barry. So now right here, where I'm about to pull up, let me get over. Right here, y'all see these, the windows dirty, but y'all see this white car? I ain't trying to show y'all the license plate, but y'all see this white car? <laughs> this white car right here, where I'm pulling up at, this my daughter, mom. This my, I'm gonna show y'all this right here. Look, this, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take y'all to the inside. A lot of y'all probably remember this store from when it, when we first started and I was first helping her get it. This her store. So I'm gonna take nothing from her. She learned, she learned from the best. And let me show y'all, this her store. Hi y'all, what up, Kimmy do? She said, my mommy loves Hey, girl. Her. I was on my, on my YouTube channel filming. So I want to show, show y'all my, Y'all see this? So once again, it's my daughter and mom's story. I ain't gonna take nothing from her cause I don't want her to say, you telling everybody. So look, how you doing today? I just kind of get a good look. I'm, I'm, dang, look, they don't want to be on camera. It's okay, you need her hair done or something. What's up, man? What's your name? You used to be my cameraman? Yep. So how you get fired being my cameraman? I don't know. <laughs> That's my boy Killer D, man. He used to be he used to be my cameraman. He said I, he said he's not my cameraman no more. So I want to stop up here. I gotta keep going, y'all. Like I said, it's the day of life. Just shameless plug once again. Day of life for me. So I normally like sometimes when I say like you gotta know who like in your community and stuff, who got stuff going, the good thing. My daughter, mom, she opened up her store. So what we do is sometimes she has some stuff that I don't have and I have some stuff she don't have and she hit me like, you got this? I'm like, no, or stuff like that. And I get stuff from her and stuff like that, right? So with that being said, people around your community also can help you too. Y'all can network together. It ain't always, see like this store right here, that's my boy cousin store right there. It's closed right now. I don't know why, but just different stuff. You got to know in your community, in your city, who doing what, because you never know who can help you. Now, some people will be mad, right? So, I'm back at it again. I had to cut the phone off right quick. I told y'all I'm driving, so I don't advise nobody. This is not promoting that driving and filming and texting and none of that. I've just had to get this off down of life, let y'all see. And then y'all see my cameraman, Killer D, he working at his mother's shop, so. <laughs> Gotta do it myself, huh? Y'all been liking how I do, how I been filming, talking to y'all, giving y'all this free game. So look, let me show y'all something else. So while I'm about to stop at right here, while I came this way, I wanna see if my boy, this is to motivate y'all too, right? When I say motivation, I'll give y'all motivation. So I'm going right here to my boy house, right here, up and come black business. He trying to get his stuff started. See right there? I need to hurry up, pull right there. He sell these speakers. So you see that right there? He selling speakers. So since he's selling speakers, that's what I'm going through. Going at me, they mad. You feel me? He selling speakers. That's what I need, those speakers right there, y'all see them? So, you know, sometimes some people, entrepreneurs do stuff at their house too. They waiting on me. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to talk to y'all in reverse motion. Because I'm trying to get to right here. I don't know if they were doing something, but I'm going right here. That's what I'm going. I'm going to turn back around.
Don't know how to try. Fuck. Oh, I can't say, hey, excuse me, YouTube. <laughs> but make a long story short, I'm about to have to bust a U-turn right there. Because I'm trying to get these people behind me. They, they act like they was pulling in the driveway. They were not pulling in the driveway, so I'm about to bust a U-turn. So look, back at it. Some of y'all like this dude crazy. Like I said, it's the day in the life. I do want to promote this black business. I was I was filming on my YouTube. I wanted to stop and I was showing them black business. Come get a speaker and shit. This is my boy right here. I told y'all starting at the house, man. Funny man stick, man. Y'all can hear me. Look, y'all hear me. 